two out of three falls for the 60 minute time limit. Weighing 240 pounds from Germany, Hans Schmidt. His opponent, weighing 226 pounds from Excelsior, Minnesota, Fern Ganya. The referee, Jimmy Callas. National Amphitheater, Chicago. Out of this world promotions. This one is brought together right from Germany, Hans Schmidt, who waded through the best that uh, that country has to offer and now finds himself here in international arena tonight prepared to meet the number one challenger for the national wrestling alliance's heavyweight world championship belt this boy ganya has come as close to winning it from luthez as anybody in the business so let's see what brother schmidt can do with ganya this much about schmidt he has a habit of losing his temper that is a teutonic trait i apologize here we go. We're off and running. Go to the bomb shelter, Clinky. We'll need it before we get through August Villem. Arm lock falling. That Mr. <laughs> Schmidt does not like. Well, this boy Gunya puts his arm locks on and he flings them in addition to falling with them. You watch this one, you'll see some of the, I was just gonna say the prettiest wrestling in the business and Brother Schmidt starts this tactic. Hey chum, Roush met him, huh? Try to put an arm drag on him, but don't use his toupee to do it with. Check. Is the word the same in German? Hey, fellas, fellas, I'm old and feeble now. Let's take it easy. Oh, hello. Stand up and take it like a man. You have made Mr. Gunya a mayad. Burn switched the headlock on him. Schmidt trying to counter here with a chin lock or a press, whichever he can can get. He has a shoulder stand on on yet at the moment, or did have. This is making me dizzy, how about you? Onto the headlock again. Burn, keep him in there now. Boy, how the fur do fly out here at this corner of the ring when a guy as heavy as either of these lambs. Dad, grab it, hold still. Size 11 by reach, it says here. No, 12. Pardon me. Uh oh. Tally ho, there's a check on Schmidt. Vern, you know, was an outstanding football player at his day up at Minnesota. And he has the fine art of blocking and checking down 
to Annette's eyebrow. Schmidt has his chin lock in under here. He's trying for a body slam, and he made it. Knee lift right into that jaw. Byrne moved away from it a little. Chin lock posted into a body press. Now, fellers. We don't mind you using the flat of your hand, uh, Mr. Schmidt, but you're using your fist. Cut it out. Please the grid. You can hear the cheers for Mr. Schmidt. That's right, they, they have a loud, round sound to them that sounds much like boo. on a hammer lock here on Ganya. More hair pulling. Well, he wasn't caught that trip. Call for the ropes. No, no hair pulling. Still a hammer lock on Ganya. It's my Swedish mother-in-law says, oh, man, they're hurting you. Gotcha that time, chum. Ha, ha, ha. We caught ya. There's a chin lock plus a choke here, but uh, this is like trying to see the, the underside of a diesel locomotive. Look up into all of that tangle arms and chins and fingers and everything else. Burns getting set up to try something here. Let's see. Boy, he just can't get this guy out of his hair, actually. Missed him. That one didn't miss. Burn is mad, I would say. Stick him, Vern. Go get him, boy. Sorry. No, 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 no. What do you mean, Vern? Huh? Hans was stalling there, trying to get in a kangaroo. Me, I'm getting too old and fat to be doing crazy things like this. Count of two. Well, there goes Vern with a full Nelson. Now let's see if he can do this. This boy Schmidt is tough. Got a lot of strength. He made it.
Schmidt caught that kangaroo. Uh oh. Gunya caught two knee, a knee lift, two rights, a rabbit punch, and a kick in the ribs. That is raw, chum. Can't help it. Here it is wrong. Hammerlock. Oh no. How much of that can you soak up? It's amazing, but I've seen Gunya take an awful lot of this. Still come back to win. Schmidt's going to be disqualified if he keeps it up. Body slam. Need I tell you. Backbreaker. One, two, three. get this all made official. This boy Schmidt is tough. Here's Eddie Plank. Attention please. The time 10 minutes and 41 seconds for the back breaker and a body press the winner of the first fall Hans Schmidt. They love Mr. Schmidt. Yes sir they love him even in Peoria. You are witnessing a, another one of the star attractions that promoter Fred Kohler has here in the International Amphitheater. This is Vern Gagne you're looking at. He lost the first fall of this match, a proposed two out of three affair to Hans Schmidt of Germany. Vern, uh, actually, I mean, uh, I'm not using uh, metaphors here, had this boy Schmidt in his hair all the way from the opening bell. Finally, Schmidt managed to bang him into a ring corner about three times in a row. A knee lift, a couple of other. Uh, in all of his August something or other. And, uh, well, he's ignoring the fact that everybody's booing him. But, uh, this is a little bit of an upset here for those of us who have followed the fortunes of Vern Gagne. To see him lose a fall so quick, relatively speaking, in 10 minutes. I've seen Vern lose them before, but but never in so short a time. Mr. Schmidt, eine Minuten, Achtung. Look, Junior, pay attention. We may ask questions. Now you can go. Mr. Ganya has taken all of this he wants. It would seem. People are mad all over. Come on, that's what he wants you to do is lose your temper. There's a drop kick for Schmidt. Boy, he's out like a rabbit. Nope, he's over the rope. Gunya laid him out with that drop kick. He really took him. That's a boy. That's what everybody wanted you to do. <laughs> Matter, kid, you swallow something crooked? Maybe Vern can beat on it for you.
I'm just watching this guy. He knows he's loaded with buckshot. Schmidt has a wrist lock here. Wing right up into my lap into a head scissors. Now, Mr. Schmidt. Hey, boy, what are you doing there, huh? You can't tear the bacon off him with your raw hands. Now, that's not going to do his little brow any good. Well, that's adding injury to insult. Head scissors plus wrist lock figure forward. What happened there? Schmidt just lost it, it seems like. Gunya's going to try and snap out of this thing. He's setting himself for it. There's absolutely no use. Look at that. Might go to the sandbox, boy. Get a little non-skid material there. Headlock on Ganya. Flying <laughs> toe hole. Looked for a minute there like Vern was going to get caught with that thing. And a second check, but he made out all right, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, twist it off, Vern. Let's see what's inside. This is when a toehold hurts. This is putting it on the rough way. Keep yourself clear, boy. He'll grab at anything he can see. winner of this match is due to to be matched with Luthez. Whether it will be a championship go or not or merely an exhibition I can't tell you but they're both wrestling like crazy here. Oh good 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 that <laughs> that, that really put some first class bruises on him. up to here but uh, you can bank on it if he can make things miserable for brother Schmidt he'll do it this toll is bad enough Still Russ Davis, still main goal. Vern Gagne, boy putting on the toe hold. Hans Schmidt receiving it. Uh, 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 watch that loose end there. 
See what I mean? minutes of a lap since this best two out of three fall affair with a 60 minute proposed time limit started well Schmidt finally went for the ropes pulled himself out from under matter Mr. Schmidt as long as things don't go your way uh, you get unhappy it's a trait most of us have well there goes Vern right back after that leg again he got them both in a scissors hole but did he break it up Ach, now I'm mad Headlock. Burns still trying to pick up this leg. Boy, he really bruised up that knee of Schmitz. It's just turned black. Stay very watched, Mr. Schmidt. You ever notice little old Jimmy Callis when that starts? He just gets in the, in the corner and there he stays. I don't blame him. It's a smart move. Caught you that time, Mr. Schmidt. Oh, fine. How long can that guy keep this up? Mr. Schmidt for the second time tonight, no feet. Listen to the crowd yelling here, ring the bell. Oh no. Hey, hey, hey. Well, uh, they don't have nearly as far to fall. Uh oh, that one went home. There's a headlock on Ganya, a backflip. And maybe there goes the sleeper. Attention please, the time, 11 minutes and 17 seconds, the winner of the second fall with the sleeper hole, Vern Ganya. Do I dare talk now? 
This is the first time I could even hear myself rattle here. Well, that is a fall apiece now for Vern Gagne and for Hans Schmidt. Vern won his with a sleep. <laughs> this has been a rather rugged match up to now. Vern Gagne, the most eligible challenger in the business for Luthes's heavyweight championship and Hans Schmidt have been put together here tonight at International Amphitheater by promoter Fred Kohler. New, let's see what's going to happen. Is it or ain't it? Time out now for road work. Vern will head him here and get him up in the North 40 in a minute. No, no. Not like a box fighter, Herr Schmidt. Watch his loss. Watch his loss. That's Will you have Burns doing this, I'm sure, purposely, just to make Schmidt lose his head. Or Mr. Schmidt, when this happens, he knows he's got to count to 3,000 to keep his temper because if he loses it with Ganya, that, that's all he has to do. Then Vern's got him where he wants him. Oh, hello. Schmidt just thought he heard the Hassenfeffer call then. Waist lock on Vern. No, 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 Mr. Schmidt. Well, let's hope the ring stays together. Out goes Mr. Gagne, right on the deck. Star turn next, Clanky, look out. <laughs> Mr. Schmidt, you have to let the man back in the ring. goes on. <laughs> Vern made it back in the ring. At least he wasn't counted out. Knee lift. First back clip. Well, there he goes, trying to get out over the top of the ropes. Biggest thing is for Vern to get away from Schmidt. Mr. Schmidt, you must watch yourself, boy. Temper, temper.
Edlock. Oh, no, 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 Mr. Schmidt. That isn't kosher, boy. Vern extricated himself, which the book clearly says he must. Oh, oh look the end in now. These ropes are a task to get rid of. Look out. 240 some odd pounds a man there. Look out, Blanket. Why do I have to say anything, huh? I'm enjoying as much as you are. Look out, Blanket. Sleep hold again. Burn couldn't quite set it up. Body slam. Backbreaker. Could be. Uh, look out, Mr. Callis. Oh, no. No, no. That's enough of that. Callis told Schmidt. Burns still wants to win this thing his way. Hold now, Burn. hold now, Vern. On a disqualification, Vern Gagne in six minutes and 29 seconds. The winner. Boy, even Eddie Blake couldn't make himself heard over this crowd. They were really given what for to old brother Schmidt. But Aunt Schmidt lost to Vern Gagne here tonight again in International Amphitheater. It looks like maybe Vern's in another rematch. The second one of his career here in International Arena with Lou Fez for that coveted title. Or is it the third one, Clinky? Which is it? It's a third rematch. Maybe this one can be a charm. Who knows? Russ Davis speaking to you from International in Chicago. Hope you've enjoyed it. We'll see you around along about this same time next week.